attempt number... I stopped counting. Trough trying to do this video. Uh, I failed the microphone, I failed the... I failed a lot. Anyway, what are we here for today? You can already tell by the sound, potentially, that this is not ACC. Instead, I went back to Assetto Corsa, modded to, well, everything you can pretty much get, which is Custom Shader Patch, the Soul Mod, and some older cars. A friend of me asked me recently if I was ready to compete in a Assetto Corsa League. Eventually didn't have the time, but I installed everything and yeah, set everything up. So now there is an option to do some great videos with alternative content. In this case, this is 1990s DDM cars and what other should I be in than a BMW M3 E30? from I think 1992. Around us there's going to be Mercedes, a Mustang, um, an Audi. There's I think there's Ford and Opel in here as well. Um, probably Vauxhall, I don't know. A couple of those cars of back then. Uh, I think we should just get right into this. Um, you can see we're in the night so you're not sure of the track yet but I might have put it in the video name so this is the Nordschleife and it looks really really great with everything cranked up in the custom shader patch so I just wanted to really show this to you uh, let me quickly note the setup that I built and I will have to change I already did change the gear ratio to the longer box because we have a little top speed here uh, I think we're just starting right away this is 20 AIs which is the maximum the, the PC will do without uh, starting to overload the CPU. Uh, due to the long gearing, everybody bogs down here. So we're just waiting a bit for the race to get underway. It looks a bit easier at the beginning. With the AI is almost driving out of the way, but let me tell you, just next corner, you'll have a different opinion because their skill and aggressiveness is set to the absolute maximum and if you allow them an inch, they're gonna use it. There you go. Okay, he killed me and caught me, so... Okay, next guy. That's... you can, you can see why the video needed so many attempts, because they keep killing me. Maybe shouldn't have set the aggressiveness to 100%. Maybe 99 would have been fine. But okay, back to the actual topic. Those DDM cars, they differ quite a bit. Well, from, from the more recent ones, definitely. But also within that class, they differ quite a bit because they have something between 200 kilo differences from car to car and also something like 100 horse, horsepower between them. So we're... oh my, he was not giving me anything there and already the next guy behind is looking for that gap. I actually have to go defensive a bit. Okay, he's leaving that door open. That was a mistake. And there's not a lot of places where you really want to comfortably go side by side here. You definitely also don't want to lift a lot to make get the car in a sensitive state because there's so many bumps and curves that are going to throw you around you want to have a stable car as much and as often as you can probably wasn't the smartest idea to set the brake bias as far back as i did and the car 320 horsepower here in the e30 with about 980 kilograms at least telling by the menu so just about under a ton makes it 300 and a bit horsepower per ton and this is where all cars are very similar here some weigh a bit more but then have 400 horsepower so you'll see cars being ooh, this is not a place to go side by side and he's just finding out Sticking it on the inside here. No way for him in those long corners to hold it onto the outside. And my brake price is so far back, you'll see the car dancing here into the corners. I did the turn the overlay off on purpose to have it a bit more immersive and let you really focus on all the 
actual visuals that seem to be a simulation. Just look at the reflections on the side of the car. Now he is away, so hopefully you took your chance early. Oh, he's still there. Now we should be ahead. Yes. My problem with the Notch Life always is I never had to drive it competitively. And so I only know like the first third of the track because afterwards I usually tend to crash. Uh, I do recognize most of the corners once I'm there, but as I'm approaching that I'm often not sure which corner is actually ahead of me. So I yeah, kind of rely on the AI to guide the way here a bit through the literal darkness. I like how the lights look in my rearview mirror and I also like the, the yellow touch in the lights, just makes it a bit special gives a nice uh, nostalgic feeling here the cars look really planted on the road i mean visually not physically but it really looks like they're driving on the road which is something not not every game really has that you get the feeling of the cars actually looking like they were on a surface but they respond to every little bump here and it looks really great the tires actually spin according to the the speed the car is driving and <laughs> well you know what i'm on about when on acc there it doesn't have that um and about the driving of these cars they're so soft and uh, a bit wobbly that you have a lot of time to understand what the car is trying to tell you and then correct it accordingly and you kind of place it where you want it but be aware of those bumps the car is not soft enough for those the curves are just really high here and they're going to throw you out of the corner with pleasure yeah that was my car dancing again a bit on the brake because i just probably set it a tiny bit too loose for such a track but it does help get the car into the corner on the other hand on the exit the car kind of doesn't have enough power to send the car sideways. Maybe in the lower gears and very high refs, you, you can manage to get the rear to step out on you a bit. But it's never really enough to send the car in an uncontrollable spin. It's everything is nice and predictable. And hopefully I won't regret saying this. Yep, told you, scary there. The good thing is the force feedback is just on point. I didn't have to think about it a single second driving here. It was just fine right from the start. Never had to worry about it. And it's just telling me what the car is doing, makes it easy to control it, even if there is a lot of corrections needed. They, those are all coming from the force feedback basically itself. It's not me correcting everything. It's just the front axle being really connected to the car. So this run lap race only has the long straight ahead and then the last couple of corners. Let's hope I can get some of the guys here on long straight here with a long gearing, but I suspect they're running the same setup kinda. There's one, definitely not gonna win this race. But hopefully this is the attempt that I'm actually finishing it. Having driven this now, or almost, makes me just, A, look really forward to Assetto Corsa 2 with Kunos going back to their own proprietary engine because this looks stunning and eight years after Assetto Corsa release it can only get better. Um, and just having more content variety than this driving modern GD3s and Okay, he was never gonna give me that corner for free. Okay, let's give him that position. I was just so insecure on the brakes there. Nice from Boyer Drift, 10th over the line. I was hoping a bit more, but you can see this was not the easiest race I ever did. What I was gonna say is it would be so great to, I think, have the Notch Life in ACC and be able to send the GD3s, GD4s and TCX class 
across the track in the motor class race just for the whole just for what the notch life represents really which is well the the pinnacle of endurance racing and gt racing which acc is as well in terms of a game it's just lacking some of those signature races we have spa but we don't have the notch life or le mans or daytona so yeah with that i'm gonna end the video i'm really looking forward to ac2 which hopefully delivers all this content uh, in the future um and i hope this content was something different and you liked it and i'll hope to see you very soon to be honest i was i was gonna give you tv footage of this but uh, the sound in yeah the, the tv cameras is just awful so i'm sparing you that part but i just urge you to check out the csp mod get some old dtm cars going send them on the notch life at night it's a great experience uh, and that's the video goodbye